Hey guys, my name is Paul, and right now what we're going to do, we're going to learn how we're going to wire this. These are the original factory connectors. If you notice, um, um, doesn't have, well, it has a color code, but we don't know which one is, you know, which one is supposed to be get uh, positive and which is supposed to be um, um, uh, the control. And we know the black ones are the ground, so, but we got more than than one black so uh and also we got the inputs i believe the inputs is uh always this right here because they're thinner and always the um the thick ones is the power um here's the you know here's the um the other um twin what did they actually took it apart and try to find out um which one is um positive and negative Excuse me, um, like you notice right here, let me take this apart. Okay, on the connector, you notice um, we have the pins inside in this right here. This is the female side, this is the male. Um, inside here, um, pins are, are labeled by number. So the first one in the corner on the left and the bottom is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it jump back to the top, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now we look this is actually how this is goes through. So we know the pin number one is right here. They wanna start on the left, if you notice. So we're gonna plug this in. Now we know this is the actually you know sound input, and also we got the output that goes to the speaker. Now I got a little got a little info right here. One we got pin number one, okay. Pin number one, which is say uh, is white and red, okay. This white and red. Uh, if you ever uh, wire a stereo, you always you get uh, red and yellow. So this is your command cable, okay? This is your yellow. This is the one that comes for your key. When you turn the key to turn it on, your stereo, you turn on your amplifier. This is your command, okay? This is number one. And then we got number two, okay? This is number two, this right here. And then we got number three, which is both are black. Okay, so this right here are ground. And then we got let's see, one, two, and three. The four one is red. This four one is actually empty. Okay, not this go through. And then we got the fifth and six, which is this are constantly positive. Okay. This actually is like, you know, hooked them right straight to the battery. Constantly positive. And then, okay, three, six. This is your seven, seven and eight, okay? Seven and eight, okay? White and black is actually positive for your speaker. And gray and black is actually negative. So what I do right here, uh, it's a little ghetto connection. Side. Take this. Okay. This right here actually is gonna be our our audio input. Okay. Okay, so if you notice, this is my audio input. On my audio input, um, audio input, I just got a regular, you know, um, headset for, uh, plug. So, what we're gonna do is, 
so we can block him into the to the stereo. Okay, so this is your output on the laptop. Okay, we got this wire right. Okay, now right here, this two is gonna go together. Um, uh, two and three is always together to make sure we get. Okay, I'm just getting um, the lines together so we don't get no issue. Oops. Okay, so we got ground. Okay, we got ground, we got positive. Now, we gotta what we gotta do are our command, we gotta hook them up straight to our, you know. To a power line. So that way we can feed it with you know power going through. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and power this to my power supply. Oops. Take this away. And we're gonna power it up. <laughs> just got basically one line going through just one so the other one is not hooked to mine so you're not going to hear a lot of loud but this is actually how you're supposed to wire these factory connectors that you don't know which cable it is okay and this is our for a, you know amplifier match and this is come you know focus and I think it comes in a most dancing exploder too Alright guys, uh, if you got any questions, just you can email me or you can just write a comment and then I'll try to help you out as much as I can, okay? Good luck and good luck with your project. You can pick out one of these, um, you know, one of these, I picked out this in the junk drawer, it actually cost me $40 with the two amplifiers and the, and the speaker, so you probably can find it maybe the same price, a little bit more expensive, but this is the way you're supposed to wire, and you got any concerns, just write me up a comment, and we'll be glad to help you.